So what I think is amazing about Swifts is how long that they can spend flying. Uh, this is known as on the wing and they can actually sleep, eat, breed, all whilst flying in the air. Every year they come here from Africa to breed, um, which is an absolutely amazing distance to fly. Uh, their Latin name is actually Apus Apus, which means no foot, no foot. And this is because they've got really short legs and they struggle to walk more than a few steps. They've got a really iconic screeching call and a unique body shape, which is very arched um, with a short forked tail, which distinguishes them from other species like house martins and swallows. Uh, what's really interesting about swifts is they actually nest in the same place every year. So the best place to spot swifts is actually by looking up. You can see them flying above most habitats and that includes housing estates and urban areas. You can listen out for their really unique screeching call and they've got that really unique body shape that's often silhouetted in the sky. At dusk you often see small groups of them swooping and swooshing really fast into little cracks and crevices uh, and if you do see them flying into crevices and cracks um, this could well be where they're nesting year on year. So unfortunately since 1995 swift populations have declined by 53% this is because there are fewer nesting sites for them to make their home and there are actually less insects for them to feed on. Old buildings used to give them really secure and little nooks and crannies that they could make their home, but unfortunately now they're being demolished and renovated. Modern homes don't often have these spaces for them to nest in. There's also, like I said, less insects for them to feed on and this is because of a variety of reasons. Some include Gardens are often covered in slabs and gravels now, hedges are ripped out, there's less fresh water in ponds, um, there's heavy use of pesticides and chemicals, and grasses are cut really frequently by councils. This variety of reasons means that insect populations are massively reducing and are having an impact on our swifts. So there are a load of easy steps that we can all do um, to help swifts and their populations. We can actually hang swift bird boxes on buildings and you can actually get special swift roof tiles and bricks. So any way you can adapt your home um, and leave those really important nooks and crannies that they like to nest in. If you do see them going into a site like this, leave it alone. Year on year, they'll keep coming back. So it's really important to preserve them. To help insects um, in your garden, let your lawn grow. Um, plant some wildflowers, talk to councils and ask them to leave wild patches in your local park or to mow the grass less. All of this will help our swift populations. So Yorkshire Wildlife Trust actually have over 100 nature reserves um, of a variety of habitats, including wildflower meadows, freshwater ponds, wetlands, all across Yorkshire. Um, so we are managing these sites and these wild places to ensure a rich and an abundant source of insects for the swifts to feed on every single year. Every year when I do see the swifts returning, it makes me so incredibly happy. It's a really special thing that these wild places are here year on year for wildlife to return to. It's really good that when the swifts do return, Yorkshire Wildlife Trust is providing the safe havens for them to call home. There is so much that we can do to help wildlife recover if we have the support to get it done.